Hello everyone. Welcome to another video with Professor Choi. Uh, today we're going to be showing you some of the resources that we're going to be using in our classes so that um, you have an idea of what to expect. So this is a website for Miami Day College and today I'm making this particular video for my Equal 2013 and Equal 2023 classes um, so that we get an idea for how the class runs. Before I do that though, I wanted to take you to my YouTube channel so that uh, you know where all the videos and all the stuff is going to be posted. So when you're looking for me on YouTube, you go and look for Professor Choi. And there it is, my channel right there. Most of my videos are separated into uh, playlists. So if you click right here, it says playlist. You have a playlist for um, for pretty much all the videos that I have. Uh, the important videos normally for your particular class are going to be either here in microeconomics, that's the one you're taking, or here where it says microeconomics. Um, but I have a few more interesting videos if you're interested. I have here a playlist of 24 different small videos on investing for beginners. Uh, this is a series that I created for those students who were interested in learning how to invest and in the last few years this has been a big deal in the industry because lots and lots of people all of a sudden want to invest and uh, they don't really know how. So I created these videos to help you out with that. I also created uh, this playlist right here, it says Simple Steps for a Better Financial Future and that was just to help people uh, with you know, some of the basic stuff that they need to know uh, for a better financial future and I think one of the videos that pretty much everybody should watch is this one right here, it says how that my credit score works because most people don't really know how their credit score works. All right. So anyway, um, that's the stuff in case you're interested. Now let's go into what we need to know. So first, let's go to Miami Day College, and that's the website for Miami Day College, www.mdc.edu. Then uh, we're going to be using now this program called Canvas. So if you come right here, it says Portals. We're going to come right here, it says Canvas. <clears throat> and of course, it's going to ask you for your login information. Um, I already kind of have my login information because I was using this a little bit before. So it's already here. Now, you're going to click right here it says courses and you're going to have a list of courses that you're taking there. I'm just going to pick one uh, example so I can talk about it. So this is the sort of beginning page. Uh, some of these things may be a little different when uh, when you see it because you know the professor may have updated or, or whatnot. Um, if you click right here it says start here. If you click right here it says modules that's basically where you're going to go pretty much all the time. So if you click right here, it says start here. Again, it depends on the professor. Then in my particular case, it takes you to the top module on Canvas. Now let me go back home real quick. Also notice if you click right here, it says modules, it takes you to pretty much the same place. Now this is one of the beauties of Canvas is that everything is right here on this link where it says modules. It's pretty much nowhere else, okay? So once you get to the home page, which is gonna, where you're going to land at the beginning, all you got to do is click right here where it says modules, and everything's pretty much linearly organized here. So now what you need to do in a nutshell is go over every single module one by one. All right. So in my particular case, I have introductory videos like this one will be posted here. Then I have... Uh, stuff like the syllabus, things on how to register for Canvas, things of that sort. And then I have resources for students and links and things of that sort eventually. I'm working on all that. And then you have your modules. In order to be successful in this class, what you basically have to do is you have to complete every single module that you see here. And that's what we're going to be working on throughout the semester basically every single one of those modules all the way until we do the last module okay and that's how canvas is organized it's basically very module very linear it's all right here where it says modules and um, it's basically go over the next module then jump into the next module and so on at least that's how it is for me 
It's very linear, very simple, uh, very uh, neatly organized. <clears throat> now, uh, there's going to be a couple of things that we're going to be using while we're doing that. In my particular modules, for example, there's always going to be a discussion board and there's always going to be a homework. In some of the modules, especially right before the test, there's going to be a quiz as well. And the quiz is basically to help you um, understand or at least practice for the test. So it's like right before the test just to practice for the test. And um, again, so you have one homework per module and then you have one quiz right here to help you practice for the test. And then there's a test. And then it sort of repeats itself again. And we have, you know, different modules. And then at the end, right before the test, there's going to be a quiz. The quiz again is to practice for that test. And you have um, the test at some point. Now we're going to be taking those tests on this program called My Lab. To register for My Lab, all you have to do is you come over here, it says My Lab and Master, and you click on that. And then it'll just take you to how to register at that point. Again, I haven't uh, completed my uh, linking of it because right now it's before my class, but um, I will do that. And then when you do basically click there, you, it's going to take you to instructions on how to register for that. Now, there's going to be a video on how to register for my lab right here. It says syllabus and important files right here. Video how to register for my lab. It's going to be there. So if you're interested in learning, uh, just watch that quick video and it'll tell you what to do. Um, so let me take you to my lab. So this is what Pearson My Lab looks like. Now again, these are all the I have. Uh, I've been using my lab for quite a while now, so. These are all the different classes I have. And uh, again, I'm just going to go ahead and, and select one here just to show you how it works. So inside of my lab, you're going to see this uh, it says Course Home, which is basically just the beginning. All the stuff you need to complete is right here where it says Assignments. So if you click where it says Assignments, you're basically going to get a list of assignments that you have to complete inside of my lab. So as you can see, that's basically just a list of all the assignments that you have. Now you're going to have one homework per chapter. You're going to have one quiz per module group, which is this group right here, and one test per module group. So test one is going to be on this information here, and quiz one is going to be on this information here. Again, the quiz is to practice for the test, so you're able to do better. Uh, this right here is the uh, chapters, again, homework, one homework per chapter, and then you have the quiz, and then you have the test, and you have one homework per chapter, and you got the quiz, and you have your test. Some of these tests, by the way, are extra. They're probably not going to be uh, visible to you, depending on the semester. All right, so again, when you go to my lab, uh, that's pretty much everywhere you, where you're going to go all the time. You just click right here. It says Assignments. And that's where you're going to have your list of assignments. If you click right here, it says Pearson eText, it's going to take you to the eText. So usually when you pre, uh, purchase my lab, the eText is going to be included. And by clicking right here, you're going to be able to read the book. So it comes as a package. You know, you buy basically access to my lab, and then you get access to the eText right away as well. If you click right here, it says results. Once you start doing assignments inside of my lab, you're going to get here a bunch of results for your homework, your quizzes, and your tests. So they're all going to be there. <clears throat> um, if you click right here where it says study plan, this is one of the best parts about my lab. Every time you go into assignments and you complete something, let's say that you don't do very well on homework for chapter three because it was uh, somehow difficult. Okay. One of the things that my lab is going to do is it's going to update your study plan. Now, the study plan is not necessary, okay? The study plan is basically something that you would use if somehow uh, you're, not, uh, you're not doing well or if you want to practice more. But again, this is not necessary. It's just extra to help you understand the material better. So once you start uh, doing homeworks and quizzes on the other side, 
one of the things that's going to happen is the study plan is going to start updating for you with that information. So if you don't do well on something or you just haven't taken it, you're going to start getting these stickies right here. All right. So you, if you are not doing well, you get this sign here, which basically means they recommend that you study that. And whenever you're doing fine, it's going to start showing you this mastery hats. So let's say that I take my chapter one homework and basically I'm done with it, you know, and I did okay, then the chapter one is mostly going to have that mastery hat. Okay. If you're not doing well, if you're attempting something, you're, you're failing it, then it's going to give you this, this, uh, stick is here. And then you're basically going to uh, know what you need to practice a little more. And once you click on that particular chapter that you haven't done well, uh, you can click on a section and basically take a bunch more questions that will help you understand um, the chapter okay now of course like I said the study plan is not necessary as a matter of fact it's not graded your grades are gonna come from where it says assignments so um, the assignments are the ones you have to do whatever list you have depending on your particular class okay the assignments are the ones that you have to do the study plan is extra in case you're interested on um, on learning a little bit more okay so again that's uh the uh, the biggest things i wanted to show you which are basically the two major resources that we have for this particular class all right also uh, on the home page by the way eventually it's going to start populating with announcements either up here or down here and if you don't see them you just click where it says announcements and there'll be announcements, so keep up with the class by using those announcements, okay? So, um, again, I hope to see you uh, later on. This is just a video uh, quickly explaining, you know, how the class is gonna run. So, uh, make sure you wa also watch my, also, my other video. I usually put two, uh, one, my welcome video kind of explaining how the class runs a little bit, and then this one right here explaining to you the resources that we're gonna be using for my lab, uh, for the class. All right, well, um, absolute pleasure to make this video for you. Uh, have a nice day.